Hey everyone, welcome back. So, in the last episode, we discussed the game we were starting to make for the Unreal Engine 4 Spring Jump, the marketplace uh, takeover in specific. And during our development, uh, we realized a bunch of stuff that we will discuss right now. Now, the first thing off the bat, you realize the trees have changed, right? And the reason why we did that, and this was the result of two, three days of work, the last two, three days, uh, where we pretty much made all of the levels and the animations and the platforming. And the reason, uh, back to the trees, the reason why we changed the trees is because we wanted to use assets that are free and available on the store. And Unreal was, uh, Epic Games was kind enough to uh, give out free assets for the month. Uh, one of them was called Platformer Starter Kit. Uh, I resume and it's an absolutely gorgeous pack and that's what we use for the game jam we said hey let's take advantage of uh, what we got for free and let's make something out of it so we changed the trees they're very beautiful they fit the environment now obviously to make everything look um, uh, make it look good together we added this material on the book and on the tree and on everything else basically there is this material where it makes it look like as if it's paper you see this uh, slight grunge tex uh, textures on the trees those didn't exist those are stuff we did uh, to make them all look uniform or at least that's how you say it and this is the level we came up with okay i'm gonna give you a small tour of the level this is the first level this is when you're playing as the mouse first and then the second level you transition into the cat but first we're gonna play as the mouse before we play I'm gonna show you the entire level so well, after your starting area you have like these two cat minion enemies and then you have a bunch of platforms you jump over and then you get more enemies and the uh, ground gets a bit more tricky here and you have boxes where you can just jump over them and avoid enemies so uh, now this one I have no idea why I did this one, but I just thought it would be funny. I actually, oh, now I remember. Uh, I added this one here because I wanted the character to come and just push him off the ledge, but then never, but then ever, that never happened. But that would have been ridiculously funny. Here, what I wanted initially was these woods to be on top and not the place they are right now, and like physics activated, where the character can just roll over the trunks and then uh, the trunks would fall down over this enemy down there and i thought that would be an awesome moment but for the game jump obviously we didn't have enough time to do that and then here there's some cool platforming uh this was uh this proved to be a bit tricky a lot of people struggled with this specific part of the platform and then you come back down here and then you do the same thing with these and you go back to this uh, environment and eventually exit the level through here at the end of the level. So I'm going to actually play through. I'm going to show you the entire thing from the beginning till the end. Uh, uh, till the end of the first level. And then we'll go ahead and examine the cat level. <clears throat> so now you're playing as the mouse. It's pretty cool. I'm still super happy with the controls. Um, and how it functions so i'm going to ignore the uh, the enemies for now just because uh, the combat isn't the best thing in this game honestly the platforming is what makes this game super fun and even though i'm like i alongside my friend tribal made this game and we played it a million times i still come and back and play it from time to time just because it's just super the platforming was really good really happy of the platforming elements in this and we've always wanted to make a platforming game, so this was a very nice uh, opportunity for us to, you know, experiment and finally do it. Um, I gotta say a couple of more things. Like, uh, the main reason we didn't do platforming before, or platforming games, is because usually when people talk about platforming games, they, they say, oh, don't do it because there's just so much level designs, your level has to be really good. Uh, but honestly, we, I mean, me and my partner, we really love level design, so um, we didn't find it as challenging as we thought we would. We had so much fun while making it, even if it was challenging. It was just super fun experience making it. So now, I'm gonna run away. I run away. Okay, and that is the end of the first level. 
Now I'm going to go into the cat level. Okay. So at the beginning, you play as the mouse and then as the cat. The cat king, may I say. Yeah, this is the dude. Really weird animations. I didn't have enough time to polish it or make it look remotely good. Uh, but yeah, also happy with the cat king design, but not so happy with the animation. I want to do better, but didn't have enough time. I have work. Yep, fall down. I love how they fall down. At the beginning, my friend was like, hey, should we make the AI like uh, not so stupid? Maybe they would stay on the platform. I'm telling, and I told him, nah, leave, it, leave them to fall down. That's kind of funny. And it creates these very funny moments where you trick them. Uh, a lot of times what people were doing when we were texting the game, they used to come close to the edge, jump, and then come back down here. And the AI would continue falling. So that was pretty funny. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy that, so we just kept it in. More platforming here. Yep. One. Try. Okay. So here is where I realized I've been using the book the same way throughout the entire level. Let me change it up. So I just switched the book upside down and I placed it like this. And, and then eventually we exit the level through here. Okay, and then, yeah, so the story, uh, let me show you what I did with the story. Okay, so when your game starts, after the main menu, you will see this illustration. Um, what I was trying to convey is, hey, you're the mouse knight, and eventually you're going to end up facing the cat king, and you are both racing towards the holy cheese. I'm not sure if it even translated uh, that idea through, but that's what I intended to do. And after this, you get the first level to start, which is the mouse. And then after that level, you would see this, where the cat king and his uh, cat minions are rushing to the, you know, to get the holy cheese. And we must take the holy cheese. And after this one is done, I thought we would show the mouse being not so fast, like uh, switching between these two characters. And this is where the theme really comes in. And that's what we were intending to do with the theme. You play different parts of uh, different characters and they're both trying to get the same thing. Now, initially we had a much more crazy idea, but we had to tone it down, obviously, uh, to scope ourselves for the game jam. So after you're done with the Cat uh, King level, you will see this illustration. And what this is, is we give you the choice to pick uh, whoever you want to pick and you can play as that character. So people really enjoyed that uh, idea at the end because yeah, you're playing different parts of a coin, but eventually you get to pick one part. And I'm going to show you the boss battle that we have ready. <clears throat> Where is it? Yeah, this one. Here I play as the mouse, fighting the cat for the holy cheese and the holy cheese just like everything else has that uh, paper texture on it now the battle is kind of rigged so it's a bit hard to okay so i kind of spammed it and uh, won but there's no actual technique there the combat is kind of horrible uh, but we are interested if we continue with this game we're definitely interested in expanding a bit more on that part or maybe removing uh, combat as it is completely from the game and maybe focusing on the platform aspect because the platforming is really what makes this game fun and not the combat but yeah i guess that that was it now it just so happened the next day there was an event organized by our friends at lebanese game developers and uh, matt mushroom games had a small talk there about a previous game we made unrelated to this one but hopefully we can talk more about that uh, game in another video. And we got a chance to basically test out our game and see the general feedback of uh, friends, uh, fellow developers from the community. And if you don't know, this is all happening in Beirut, Lebanon. So generally the feedback was really good. People were not the biggest fan of the combat, understandably. We did not focus too much on the combat, but people really enjoyed the platforming uh, part and the fact that it is 2D sprites in a 3D environment, people thought that was unique, so that's interesting. And I also like the fact that our camera is restricted the way it is, because it does force us to be more creative in 
uh, level design and how we think about it and how we approach level design in the future. That is definitely something that we are interested in experimenting in. Well, I guess that's it for now. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.